Now I'm giving into peer pressure. A lot of people say you should use bikes for these things. Bikes are the only way to go. And I was like, nah, cars, you know, but they're like bikes. So uh, I'm giving in. I'm trying bikes. Welcome one and all, I'm Tavis and we are back with another summit report and this time it's heavyweight and as you will see in a short time that has absolutely no goddamn bearing of what we're going to do but this week things seems to be working this week and this time things seems to be working as they should we are doing the I love how the car in the background is always drifting in this case we are drifting a drag car. Now I would like to see that happen in real life but anyway. So we are going to go through the usual motions of looking at the different events and see what we can come up with. Let's start off with the drag trials. And as you can see we are on the salt flats which means well that we are going to be doing going straight forward in a straight line doing absolutely really nothing. Bad start for me, but beyond that, not that bad. Now, we have some interesting news. And that is that we have had a preview of the first new summit event. And it is called Speed Trap. A free form race that is uh, designed so that you should go that you're going to hit the highest speed possible at five different speed traps. How you do this is up to you, but uh, generally speaking, it's going to be interesting. This will reward smart thinking, good planning and a good average speed. And uh, it should be coming with the next summit qualifier. And uh, we have more good news for those of us who are not super racers. As an extra participation incentive, going forward, each medal you earn during the qualifiers will add a small percent to your chance to win the summit exclusive vehicle this time a motorcycle so that's good for us who seem to be stuck around silver skill wise gives us a little bit of a chance to actually get that sweet car that is maybe not that is maybe not everyone's cup of tea but I kinda like it so we are doing a brand time attack on the KMT uh, raid bike in the middle of nowhere have actually not used this bike particularly much but this is a fun track and I mean it does leave you a lot of options because it's said it's raid so it's a matter of balancing your bike I can say I'm a little bit behind for how raced the first time and that is a starting to think that it's partially because um how uh, the recording software interacts with my game because everything gets a little bit more sluggish when I uh, turn on the recording software but I don't know time will tell now uh, apart from that next patch will bring a uh, monster truck hammer which is kind of cool actually. I mean it is for all intents and purposes not something we get because that thing is expensive as crap. But it's still nice. It's, a, it's proper for a monster truck. So that's gonna be fun to have a look at. They're gonna continue to balance car handling which is also nice. And 
I can't off my head remember what what cars we looked at, but there is a decent amount of them. So yeah, that's something I'm looking forward to in the next patch. Um, I hope that... Um, oh God, I'm so slow. I was much faster last time. So I think this is, is connected to my recording. I don't know. Might be wrong. I'll be talking out of my ass. May just be just me being poor at driving. Yeah, also, uh, a good thing with this whole medal thing is that if you, like me, have clocked in a few medals so far, they will be retroactively adding everything that you have won so far for this uh, month's summit. So, have you scored some medals? You will get some extra percent to win the summit vehicle. That's awfully nice of them. So, beyond that there's not much else going on in the game right now. Still see a lot of people complaining about uh, logging issues, but I have not seen any of that myself, so I don't know how widespread it is. But I can understand that it <laughs> would be annoying if you're a bot game and can't get into it. it. Would drive me absolutely nuts at least. Drive my nuts. But you smidge this some. That's lock, was that? That was not pretty. Oh. This thing. It does things I don't want it to do. It touches me in places I'm not comfortable with. But it flips for days. Oh. Yeah, and almost. I wonder how much get a triple backflip out of that. That was nice. I like the Skyline Monster Truck. It's very responsive for all intents and purposes. A bit jump happy, but uh, otherwise, very nice. Very nice indeed. Most arenas, as I said before, I said it again, they're getting stale. We need more things to do here. A lot more. But then again, I guess they can only do as much every time, every day, everything. But yeah, definitely need more. Some new arenas, some new modes, maybe something else to do with the monster trucks. They are looking at monster truck gameplay though. They say they're not particularly happy with where it is right now either, so that's good to know, but the question of course what they're going to do with it. So now I'm I have ideas, but what are my ideas worth? That is difficult to know. That is difficult to know indeed. Anyway. We are scoring big, scoring happy. Double backflips. You can't, you can't go wrong with double backflips. They, they do. They're tasty. Tasty double backflips. Uh, let's see if we can get a loopy loop before this timer runs out. This is going to be so tight. Ah, uh, yes, we actually did. I don't think that would be it, though. I don't think we will be able to. Nope, but no backflip. Not sure what else can be said about that. But, you know, life, 
as it is. Now I'm giving into peer pressure. Here. A lot of people say you should use bikes for these things. Bikes are the only way to go. And I was like, ah, cars, you know, but they're like bikes. So uh, I'm giving in. I'm trying bikes. The bike lifestyle. You know, it's not all that bad. Now this is one of these tracks that people hate because basically you can take so many interesting shortcuts on this one. Like here for an example. You're like, you just aim between the trees, which is a bit of a adventure in its own right, but done right, you just pop out the other side and go partying. And you keep on doing this over and over again. And if you actually have skills like me and not hit every fucking thing on the road, you can actually save a good amount of time on this. Now that has to be a legit shortcut, because otherwise it would not be placed where it is. But I don't know. What do I know? Anyway, as I said, there's been a lot of talking about removing these from, peop uh, from the game by the customers, not by Ubisoft. Ubisoft has haven't said anything on the subject. But there's a lot of people do not like these because of the whole it's more more a test of your ability to find weird ways to drive than a a competition of racing. And I can see where they're coming from that was not that was not nice. I can see where they're coming from because in one way this is not racing, this is just some weird cross country immersion breaking I don't know. It's not good anyway. But I like these as a complement to the regular tracks because the regular tracks they are they are what they are. And being given a chance to do something else than just following the road and maximizing your racing line is nice. But I would agree that it perhaps something that should be restricted to dirt, raid and monster trucks. Not necessarily in that order, but yeah. I don't know. I'm split on the subject. But yeah, as you've seen so far, there has not been particularly much heavyweight in this one. And trust me, there ain't gonna be much in the Drift Trial either. So, the Drift Trial is what the Drift Trial is. In this case, it's a really tight forest road. I think this is the same one where they introduced the drift trials and the drifting trials. But I'm not entirely sure. And this one is that you either do wonderfully at or things go completely fucking sideways in a bad way. It's so tight. It's so tiny. It's absolutely no space base whatsoever. And I'm not particularly good at this. Ah, it's the little wall tap. Just for love. Wall tapping is love. All tapping is love. And love is all the world needs. Oh, Jesus Christ. I do sometimes feel a bit like guy at the start of the 
Tokyo Drift movie. It's like, this doesn't look too difficult. And it's like, yeah, it is. In fact, really difficult. Now, this is a really nice set of turns, though, so if you can actually shame these together, mad scores to pick up. So, to sum things up, this is a interesting and fairly technical uh, summit, but most, mostly so due to the fact that it has a, have tracks a lot of shortcuts on them, and not so much for anything else. It also called, it's also called heavyweight, but doesn't really have any heavyweight in it at all. But, for all intents and purposes, not the worst summit. And, uh, other than that, I'm looking into changing up the format a bit. And uh, will probably not be done in January, but hopefully in February we'll see a slight change to the format. And, well, that sums it up for this time. I would love if both of my viewers subscribe if they're not subscriber yet and well if you happen to like it hit the like button if you like the color of the car hit the like button if you yeah anyway until next time stay safe be nice I'll see you all later